I am here with Mariah Peters. Awesome. I actually recently got to experience, read more of your story. I want to thank you personally, right here in front of everyone, an influence to my daughters already, 12 and 10. And I was just talking to you, it's like, have you thought about writing a book? And have you? It's an interesting timing because I'm literally in the refining editing process of my book proposal. So, yes. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I say, are you ready to start or want to write a book? Talk to us about who Mariah Peters is and why a book would be so good for girls or even gentlemen. Yeah, I think when I first started working on the book, it was when I first started music. So it was like six years ago, and I wanted it to be like a devotional kind of Q&A type thing, and I don't know, I think the older we get, the more we realize that we don't know, <laughs> and, and so I, I'm very much more likely now than I was when I was 17 to take more of a backseat and being honest and saying I don't have all the answers and I don't feel like I've you know, done things perfectly all the time, but I do feel like there are certain values and certain things that I've, I've kept close to my heart that I've had good experiences with. Um, so I decided to take a more storytelling approach. Um, and so this book is going to be uh, sharing the uh, kind of period of dating in my life. And speaking of that, I know you probably are sick of hearing it, but it's still on the internet about American Idol. Mm. Can you just briefly talk to maybe like my daughters who at the time weren't watching it or didn't know much about it, people that are still out there that I love the story. I mean, it's a God moment of once again, something bad, but something good comes out of it. Just briefly talk to us about that. Yeah, I, I had always just felt like I wanted to save my first kiss for my wedding day and uh, I never felt like that was a command or something that I had to do. It, it just felt right to me. And, uh, you know, the older I got, the more difficult it became. <laughs> with, uh, with today's media. I mean, I, you know, and I, that's where I'd love for the focus of the book to be with my daughters and peer pressure. How did that, how did you overcome peer pressure like that? Yeah, for me, it was less about the peer pressure aspect of it and more about just the fact that I started to fall in love. And when you love somebody, you know, you want to express that in physical ways. And so I, I, it became more difficult as I fell in love for the first time. And so um, that's kind of the area that I want to focus on, even in the book, and just, you know, sharing how uh, we, we really, really benefited from that. And that's just for us. I mean, it's not for everyone. Um, but I think the one thing that, that us particular, particularly females have in common is that we want to be respected and we want to be protected. And, uh, and when you have a standard like that, um, you really get to kind of test a guy's heart, like to know, like, are you in this for me or are you in this for what I can give you? Awesome. And, and I, I want to book, like I said, because I have two daughters, so I would be first one in line to buy it and for them and I know a lot of your songs come from personal experience so I know Brave is real popular right now awesome talk to us about where Brave came from Brave is the first song that I wrote for my sophomore album and uh, I went away in a cabin in Southern California and for three days just tried to write sat in front of a computer sat with a notebook sat with my guitar I tried everything and came up with absolutely nothing uh, until just a few hours before we were leaving the cabin. The chorus of Brave and the word Brave just like just dropped and planted into my mind. And it was almost like I was tuning into a radio station. Like I just heard it. And, um, and for the next few hours and then after that, for the next few months of just writing, I really dove into what that word means to me in my life. And I, and I, came to some pretty honest cross points in my life where I, I realized that I do struggle with fear, I do struggle with anxiety in a lot of ways. And um, just because I think that's not a very popular conversation to have and it's kind of embarrassing, <laughs> uh, I felt like, hey, maybe maybe I'm not the only one who struggles with this. So 
Brave is sort of a, a, an encouragement and an anthem for myself as much as it is for anybody else who struggles with the same thing. And it must be hard as an artist because you want to be open, but you don't want to be too open. And I know, how do you balance right now? You're married. How do you balance with your husband on tour and you on tour? How are you balancing that? It's the hardest part about what we do, for sure, um, being away from one another, um, particularly still feeling like newlyweds. Um, you know, you want to spend every moment together, but um, we both believe enough in what we're doing to make that sacrifice. And um, I think both of our hopes is just that we would be able to, to connect and that we would um, maybe share something in a song or at a concert that really opens somebody's eyes and allows them to see a little bit differently for the first time and that makes being a part worth it. Would you ever tour together? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, and we have actually. The last tour I did last year was um, was with their band and my piano player is married to his drummer and so it was like a family out on the road and we absolutely loved it. So yeah, we've, we've kind of teased it here because obviously I said he's on tour, you know, and so who are you married to and what, what's the band? Yes, his name is Joel and he's in a band called For King and Country. Yeah! yeah. Woo! Exactly, <laughs> yes. Number um, one fan, right here. Yeah! Yes. Uh, then I'm number two. <laughs> I'm, number, I'm number two. Um, so, we we're talking about that, the band, and your band. Let's talk about your band. I thought what was cool about your band is, is it intentional that it's a lot of females? It's all females, and it's very intentional. Nice. <laughs> yes. Um, I, I really feel strongly that Amen. there are needs to be more examples of women who are not only beautiful, not only um, women of integrity, but very talented musicians who are excellent at their craft. And um, each of the girls in my band can put so many guys to shame. Come on, well, that's <laughs> no, offense. Uh, no offense taken. No offense taken. But, but more than that, I, I think... Um, I think that, that it's really empowering, you know, to see a group of women up on a stage and saying something that matters and, and sharing a message of boldness and strength and bravery and saying, we are not strong, we are not brave on our own. Um, we are strong and we are brave because of who we are and who God created us to be. And uh, and I can't tell you how many, how many comments I get after shows, both from guys and girls, saying how how much they loved seeing all of all of us women up on stage. And it, I, I feel like I am just a small part of, of something that's much greater than me. So people that are excited to hear that, I know there's probably moms and dads out there saying, yes, girl powder powers for our daughters or yeah. our sons. Where can we go to make sure we're at a tour? Uh, you can go to mariahpeters.com backslash tour. And, <laughs> and uh, you'll see our shows uh, up on there. And uh, yeah, it, not too many shows for, for the next few months because the girls and I are taking some time off to write together. So being creative and, and uh, you know, really trying to be in tune with what the next message needs to be. So in 2016, the goal is triple album or third album? We'll see. We'll see. It depends. Sometimes you... Uh, you just kind of have to follow creativity. <laughs> I understand. Last question. What makes you smile? Mm. Sitting on a couch with my husband and my cat, Adelina, watching Netflix. What's your favorite show on Netflix, then? Lost. We're on season three. <laughs> <laughs> nice. They all died. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs>